Uh, hello. Uh, so in this series of screencasts, um, I'm basically going to show you how to set up uh, the uh, Internet Information Services uh, ISAP Redirector plugin that effectively makes it possible for um, IIS to pretty much send uh, servlet and JSP requests to uh, a Tomcat web container. Now this 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 sort of setup or scenario becomes effectively useful in instances or situations where uh, you might want to serve uh, uh, a web container that typically runs off a server that already has applications using port 80. Um, and in, in, in many instances, you'd, you'd want to avoid a situation where um, you sort of like impose a situation where end users have to explicitly uh, type in uh, a, a port through which they can access uh, an application running um, off of your web container. And so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, I'm going to pretty much walk you through these uh, four steps right here. Um, of course, I've already downloaded the ISAP ISS uh, plugin. Um, and then in step two, I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly show you how to um, uh, or what what files to what properties files to set up and you know what sort of parameters you should define in those uh, in those files and then in step three I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through um, how you'd otherwise define a virtual directory that uh, effectively points to um, a, a virtual directory that you map on to um, um, your Tomcat web container and then I'll I'll, I'll, I'll define an ISAP filter and then finally a web service extension. And in, in step four, I'll, I'll, I'll pretty much show um, you know how you go about mapping the different DSpace application context path that you you define um, onto um, um, appropriate URLs that uh, um, that will effectively be saved by IIS. Um, so I'm. Um, I'm going to do all this um, in a test environment that I've set up right here, and I'm basically um, um, running um, a Microsoft uh, Windows Server 2003. Uh, um, it's an x86-64-bit uh, uh, enterprise edition, um, and I'm using uh, Service Pack One. I should mention here, though, that. Um, the series of steps are pretty much applicable to, you know, other different Microsoft uh, operating system versions. Uh, other than that, I, I'm, I'm, I'm running uh, Internet uh, Information Services version uh, 6.0, uh, and then finally I have uh, um, a DSpace uh, version 1.8.2 instance. Uh, um, that was already installed. And you notice here that uh, accessing um, uh, uh, localhost via port 8, it pretty much brings up this default uh, IIS uh, uh, index page. Um, so I'll see you in the next screencast where I'll pretty much show you how, uh, which version to download, or which zip uh, compressed archive to download, and how to set up the uh, configuration files.